After the break, while Edmonton waits to see whether the NHL will resume play at the Ice District, the NBA is eyeing the Magic Kingdom for its potential return. Good morning. Welcome back to CTV Morning Live, 7 o'clock on this Thursday morning. Ton of fun stuff happening right now. Jennifer Jones yes. is on the ice in Beijing, kicking off her quest for a second gold medal. And the party is actually happening here, and the best parties happen starting at 6 a.m. You know, talking about my clothes at 10 o'clock, so might have to skip on that one. I mean, you got to love how humble he is, but I think you can make the exception if you just call ahead to Taco Bell and say, hey, I'm Paul Stasny. I'm playing in my 1,000th game. Can you make some tacos and deliver them a little later? <laughs> Stay open late for him. Come on, Taco Bell. You think, right? It's right out there. <laughs> Answer the call if you can. Lowry was not on the ice for Jets practice Friday. The extent of his injury unknown at this point. Maurice only saying he's undergoing more testing and an update is expected before Saturday's rematch here at Bell MTS Place. No injuries to report for the Bombers. It's a healthy roster for the returning champs. They're two and a half point favorites here tonight, but one big difference might be the noise. We saw many Bombers fans on the way into the stadium, but of course they're outnumbered by the Tiger Cat fans and it's understandable as the game is being played in Hamilton. So the noise might be a bit of a factor as well as the win. Seattle playing like the third worst team in the league. Brutal turnover in their own end. Paul Stasny finds a wide open Blake Wheeler in the slot. He scores. That's 11 points in his last three games. So some adversity for Winnipeg, but they're playing the Elks and the Elks are not very good. Greg Eglinson looking to make a big play, but he's crushed by Adam Bam Bam Big Hill. Fun fact, no one calls him that. So Saskatchewan takes two and the 5-4 win so she'll have to as wilson phillips says hold on for one more day i think i'm most surprised by the fact you're a wilson phillips fan oh of course who isn't <laughs> right. thanks joey so the party continues here in hamilton as the field starts to settle fans still lingering looking to see their players and congratulate them one last time before they head out and paint the city blue one last night of partying before they head back to winnipeg and pick the party right back up at another Grey Cup parade down Portage in Maine. A memorable night here in Hamilton that won't soon be forgotten. Another Grey Cup championship for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. And the Bombers keep downplaying that pressure. They're not putting pressure on the season they had or the repeat. It's about this one game. You can make the argument there's more pressure on Hamilton who's playing this game at home and is trying to end a really long drought. They haven't won since 99. Columbus has been absolutely on fire recently, scoring 19 goals over their last four games. Making me second guess putting my reputation on the line with uh, this bold prediction. Calling a win tonight, correct? For Wednesday? Yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah, I'm calling a win. We're going to put it on here. They are going to win Wednesday. It's a Joey Slattery guarantee. Such a confident young man. But look at this. He dances around Logan Stanley. He's six foot seven. That's a big man. Beautiful play by Marner. Two nothing Leafs. And Blake Wheeler taking a bit of a beating in this one. He takes a stick to the face here. And then before the end of the period, he appears to be in discomfort in this play with Marner, not giving much of a chase. He left the game after the first and did not return. Another scary moment for Winnipeg in the second. And it's Paul Stasny taking a stick to the face. And another penalty coming up. Ouch. That one was a hard one, and it's going to warrant a visit from the Tooth Fairy. Loses a tooth there. Stasny would be okay, pondering what an adult tooth goes for these days. On the ensuing power play, it's actually the Leafs taking advantage. Morris, he can't hold the line, and that sends Alex Kerfoot on the break. He makes no mistake going over the shoulder of Hellebuck. Simple, but it works. 3-0 is the lead for the Leafs, but the Jets do get some redemption on that same power play. Josh Morris, he uses Paul Stasny as a screen and blasts one past Jack Campbell. I would ask you for another prediction, but let's stay away. Oh, yeah, it's getting late. John, have a good night. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much.